Balancing the benefits and burdens of GPU-based solutions can be challenging. Richard McQuaid, Business Development Manager for Service Providers at HPE, joins us with insights on the way forward. Richard, thanks for being with us. So how do you balance the benefits of GPU-based solutions with the expense and power consumption? Right, well, the service providers are looking for uh, a more cost-effective way, more power-efficient uh, solution that they can implement uh, in their uh, portfolio uh, products. HPE offers just that with our RL300. Very power efficient server. Um, it's based on the uh, Ampere ARM, ARMS uh, processor, which is around a, a 178 uh, watt processor. Um, it runs very efficiently. Um, it's very uh, density optimized, and we also have a flexible management uh, solution that they can take advantage of as well. So what solution does HPE have for AI inferencing uh, oh, right. workloads? Right, so for this particular system, um, our solution focuses on AI inferencing at the edge. Um, the solution provides a GPU-less solution where it's just all the processing's running out of a single processor. And even with uh, what we're displaying here with four simultaneous feeds, the system is so efficient that we're only utilizing 23% of those available cores, it, which leaves you over 100 cores to still do additional processing on this system. So how does the server address some of the concerns that service providers have about integrating that into their existing infrastructure? Right, um, the server, again, very density optimized um, with our service providers. Many of them are cloud native service providers developing their own solutions and deploying those across their infrastructure. With this RL300, besides the density optimization and the uh, energy efficiency, reducing costs, of course, um, we also have that flexible management. If they've, written their, if they've written their cloud native applications and their own management solutions, we've provided the ability for a customer to go to their own open BMC firmware image and deploy that within their, within their infrastructure adding more consistency and efficiency to the management across their entire ecosystem. Can you walk us through this, Lucian? Sure, sure. Um, as I mentioned before, um, this particular demo, uh, we have four um, computer vision AI inferencing uh, instances going as, at once, and even with the four threads running, this server, it has one CPU in it, no GPUs whatsoever. At this point of your uh, your solution uh, deployment, you, you don't have that heavy compute, um, those heavy compute needs that you would upfront for your modeling or your tuning. Right now, you're you're cultivating the benefits of what you put together earlier, and for that, a single CPU system, um, especially running on an Ampere ARM based, you're looking for those efficiencies. You're using those here, and uh, this, again, this particular system, 23%, more than 100 cores still available. Richard, thanks for joining us today.